What's cracking crew, Ralph Mayhew here. And today we're gonna to look at the difference between two vlogging cameras and which one is the best to vlog with. And we're gonna choose between the Osmo Action and the Osmo Pocket. Which would you prefer, which is the best, which gives you the best results, which might be the best for you. And by the end of this video, as we creatively explore the different options and advantages and disadvantages these two cameras can bring, you'll have a clue which one you might wanna to choose to vlog with. As we do this test, what I wanna be really clear about is we are testing the vlogging capacities of these cameras. Both of these cameras were built for very different things and they do different things, but they both allow you to vlog really, really well. The idea with vlogging is you want a camera you can just turn on and speak to straight away. And to do that, we're using auto settings but we will talk about frame rate, video quality, audio quality, as well as the lens, the clarity, not to mention battery life, shooting times, and everything else. If you just wanna pick up a camera, film yourself doing something. When you pick up a vlogging camera, the first thing that's really important is that you can see yourself. And the Osmo Action, watch this. You can see yourself. You can see yourself when you speak into it, just here. And that crops the shot but still, if you put your face right in the center, you know that your face is gonna be in the center of a shot. Whoa. Same is true of the Osmo Pocket. The Osmo Pocket is really interesting because it doesn't give you a front screen, it just turns around the camera head so you can shoot it at yourself or you can shoot it at something else. When you take the Osmo Action, you add to it a tripod, a cradle with a GoPro tripod mount, a little microphone, and one of these, well, look what happens. You end up with this. How good's this? And you can vlog with it, you can pick up your sound with it. Just take a close look. And you've got this little microphone, DJI audio adapter, little mic. I'll put the links in the description so you can find all this stuff. And what I find is really, really helpful is to have a few, um, a few little gadgets. So the light is attached with this little thing. With this. This is a 20 quarter inch um, male to male adapter. I've also got a female to female adapter, which enables you to do a number of things, especially if you get a hot shoe mount that has a uh, female quarter 20. And you can do all sorts of configurations to enable your lighting or your camera or whatever you're using to um, be structured and work together how you want it to. Now, the Osmo Pocket is a little bit more of a challenge. so. To make this work, we need a adapter that's this big that holds a tripod, holds a light, and we stick the mic into the bottom of this. So to hold your pocket in place, you need one of these, combine it, one of these, and get your tripod into it as well as your light. And yet you basically put these things together and you get <laughs> you get this huge unit. The challenge with this is if this is the size of the unit you're gonna use, and look, we've got the light here, I've got my phone here, which gives a bigger screen by this, um, the tripod and the microphone here, and the camera is, is just here. But this is, a, this is a massive thing to take out with you, especially if you're just vlogging on the run and you want something that you can, um, can just use here or there. So I then tried to modify this so it was a bit more user-friendly. You could carry it around with you more easily. And, and this is what I came up with, ready? Um, now this works a little bit better. Uh, you've got the microphone coming out of the USB at the bottom. You've got uh, the tripod still on it, so it can still stand up like this. And the light, of course, that, that shines on your face as you vlog. Um, I had to custom make this. So this is a 20 quarter inch uh, steel rod. It's actually a screw that I had to cut down and shave off and make sure it could fit there. And so this is the equivalent, and I don't know about you, but it's a bit long. So I actually made it so it was more usable. But then after using the Action, I think I would prefer the Action Plus. This comes with a nice um, nice little cut finger uh, as you try and muck about with the, the different bolts and whatnot. But this is a female to female that enables this to sit with this so the microphone can sit in the middle because 
um, whatever happens you've still got to put the USB audio adapter into the bottom which means the bottom um, tripod mount screw can't be used by anything unless there's an extension and that's the extension. The other challenge with this setup is you've got to buy this separately and you've also got to buy the little converter from the pocket to your phone separately which is an added cost so some interesting things to keep in mind as you contemplate which way are we going to go with this let's talk about portability this is it i can chuck it in my pocket my bag i put it on camera i give it to my kids and say go take photos it's indestructible it's an action camera you drop it you can put it underwater you can do all of that this is a little bit more fragile and a little bit more well, bigger right it comes in a nice little carry case which keeps it pretty safe and tucked away but to use it you've got to pull it out of that before you use it and you've also got to put your lens on it which you need to keep separately and need to keep safe otherwise you can lose it I'm pretty sure in all the excitement I lost the wide lens that I have on my Osmo pocket. So you've got this and this as opposed to this. What works for you best? I know Gavin Hardcastle, a photo tripper, he vlogs on this, carries this around in its little pouch and it does him wonderfully. You can do it without the wide lens if you like. Um, saves you a few mils but you have to hold it right back otherwise it's just your face in the frame let's talk length of filming if you just put this on and film with 1080p you can film for 135 minutes with this one you get 140 minutes extra five minutes of this if you're going to film straight all the way through charging time this takes one hour and 30 minutes it takes 90 minutes this takes one hour and 15 minutes or 13 minutes so this is actually charges much quicker and both of them you can plug into a constant power supply whilst you vlog so that um, you don't need to rely on the limitations of these batteries this you can put a replacement battery in so if you have two batteries you can stick another battery in after you take this one out and cut down on your charging time whereas this you can't there's no battery that you pull in and out of this let's talk about stabilization the Osmo Action has a thing called Rocksteady and you can film on any format you like uh, providing you shoot at 60 frames or second or less and what it does is an inbuilt stabilization so it crops the frame a little bit which enables it to stabilize it a little bit whereas this beast it's a DJI gimbal these are the guys that make the drones so of course the stabilization and the gimbal uh, precision is just just wonderful it has three modes so we're videoing now and i move it around and it moves around to catch up with my face regardless of where i put it um, and it just tracks beauty really as you can see from my face uh, so I, f I use this mode when i vlog just makes it much easier and it locks on and this is without the widescreen lens on so this is almost a, a full arm's length and it's not it's not too bad is it um, the thing is i can then turn around the uh, camera with a triple flick and it points on something else and then i can lock that if i choose and as it moves it, it tracks uh, that center i can then go tilt locked which means it doesn't matter where i go it's going to stay straight and then i can go to fpv which means it does i can go like this and i can go like that so very handy if you want to film something you're vlogging on as you turn the camera away from yourself let's talk about wideness of lenses so the action um, in de-warp mode when de-warp mode's on so it de-warps it so when it's warped the outer things outer lines of the screen start to curl in so it basically goes a bit fisheye you get the equivalent to about a 20 mil but with the de-warp on it's about an 18 mil full frame equivalent and i'll show you what that looks like in just a minute if you pick up your pocket it's 26 mil however put one of these on this is a wide angle lens from freewell that's magnetic clicks in and it's built for the pocket this um this takes it from a 26 mil to an 18 mil so warped 18 mil no not much warp with this at all normal 20 mil normal 26 mil both cameras have a aperture of 2.8 it's fixed 
um, which means you can only change your ISO and your shutter speed if you want to change what the light coming into these look like. All right, so we're currently shooting. Um, D warp is off, so it's cropped down, but there's no wide lens on the pocket. So this is the pocket. Um, and what do you think? You can see how wide the actual uh, frame is. And now what I'm going to do is um, switch to the wide angle lens and warp mode. Sounds exciting, doesn't it? Warp mode. <laughs> A massive difference, right? Especially for the pocket. The pocket just goes poof, and incredible. The free well lens that's on this, that's magnetic, just clips on, doesn't blur in the edges like all of the other ones do. So it's the Primo one, it's the one DJI I recommend. And D warp is perfect if you're doing action sports. And even when you're vlogging, if I vlog like this um, on with D warp turned off, it actually you don't get too distracted by the wonky lines in the cor in the corners because you're looking at my face and wanting to see the wonderful expressions on my face. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to switch to the action and we're going to do a couple of experiments with the sound in this soundproof studio so you can check it out for yourself about what standard of sound you like and appreciate and well you can be the judge this audio is done with nothing other than the osmo action all by itself i've just attached to it a little microphone that goes through the dji audio adapter into the USB C. this is now sticking out the side of the camera and this is the audio coming from it and now what i've done is attached the rode video micro to the camera and this is the audio coming out of it through the dji audio adapter what do you think can you see much difference in them let's do the same with the pocket so this is the video with no other audio accessories connected to it it's just the pocket all by itself now i've used the audio adapter and stuck the little directional mic underneath so what do you think about this what's the level of audio for this and then this is with a Rode Micro Mini that probably wouldn't be uh, used exactly how and where it is, but you'll get to have a feel for the audio quality. What do you reckon? What would you say is the best, the first, the second, or this one? This audio is done with no other audio, nothing other than the Osmo Action. It's just the pocket all by itself, all by itself. Now, as I said before, these cameras are very different from each other. This is an action camera. You stick it on your bike, on your helmet, you take it in the surf, you take it scuba diving, you throw it around, you can do a bunch of cool stuff with it. You wouldn't do that with this. But this is far more elegant. The gimbal enables you to do stuff on it that, that you would really struggle to do with this. It's smooth, the filming, you can actually rotate around things, you can change the functions. You need to weigh these things up. At the end of the day, this can do 1080p at 60 frames a second and 4K at 60 frames a second. This does 1080 at 240 frames and then it does 4K at 60 frames. You want that in an action camera. So you're left with choice at the end of the day. What would you choose? Would you choose this or would you choose this? And you have to take into account that there are many other things that these cameras can be used for. But in terms of vlogging, vlogging straight up, if you said to me, here are the two cameras, which would you want? I would say this one. It's just, it's small, I can chuck it in the bag. It's easy to set up. Its interface is dead easy. This, you get a little screen. This one, you get a much bigger screen. So that's super, super helpful, especially when you've got massive fingers like me. Um, this little cage that it comes in enables a bunch of accessories to stick on it that this really struggles to have. This is the perfect camera just to have in your pocket if you're walking around. But if you're carrying a bag around, you've got a bunch of other stuff. Action cam is, super adaptable to a whole host of other scenarios that this just isn't so this has my vote but dji makes some incredible products and i'm not against gopro or any other manufacturers but dji they're just they seem to have their head around stabilization and quality video. If you've got any other questions that I haven't covered or that you really want to know from someone that's been using both of these for quite a long time, please put it in the comments below. Give me a like, give me a thumbs up, hit the bell. Bell just tells you when the next video's out. If you'd like to subscribe, if you'd like to check out some of my other videos, if they resonate with you, if they're helpful, if they entertain you. This one today hasn't been too entertaining, I realize, but, um, but, 
usually they're much more fun. Um, it's just wanted to get through it. Mm -hmm.